Hey everyone, Vince here. Today we're checking out two money making apps that promise PayPal cash. Are they actually worth our time though? Let's check them out together. I hope you enjoy. So starting off, we have Earn Money Paid Cash Surveys. So this is also called Cash Piggy, everyone. And this application not only has surveys, but it also has games as well. Now this is what it currently looks like in 2024. We have the Playtime Rewards area, CPX Research Surveys, InBrain Surveys, and also BitLab Surveys. Now if you didn't know, it runs on a point-based currency system. System. Checking out the cash out options is either going to bring up PayPal currency or Amazon currency. So at least here in Australia, for $1 worth of Amazon, we need 250 points. Whereas for the minimum cash out of PayPal currency of $3, we need 600 points. Now these PayPal cash outs go all the way up to $30 for 4,500 points, whereas Amazon goes all the way up to $30 for the same amount of points. I've had a few people ask me to re-review Cash Piggy just to see how it's going these days. In general though, I want you to think of 250 points roughly equaling $1 worth of USD currency, okay? So if we check out their Playtime Rewards area, at least here in Australia, they're running a double point promotion right now. So for Cash Empire, everyone, I can get two points per minute up to 74 points in total. For Doomsday Last Survivors, exact same concept here guys, up to 74 points in total. Interesting enough though, for Block Smash, we can get 6 points per minute up to 452 points in total. So that's almost $3 worth of PayPal currency. So if I was to go through and complete every single one of these gaming offers, you're generally looking at about $3 to $4 worth of USD. But just remember, Playtime Rewards takes a long time, okay? In my opinion, Cash Piggy definitely has to improve on the amount of games they have, and also the pay rate. But now, what about CPX Research? So at least with CPX Research, I can get roughly 80 cents or so for 15 minutes of my time. And as you can see, I have many, many different surveys willing to pay me 80 cents. So honestly, these survey prices are pretty decent all in all, not the worst I've seen on the market by far. And there's quite a bit of them as well, which makes it even better. With the InBrain surveys, I have to say InBrain on Cash Piggy is a big disappointment in my opinion, because the prices are generally around 32 points, which is barely even like, I think 10 to 15 cents roughly. These surveys can definitely be improved for sure everyone. I wouldn't even bother with them. Now how about BitLabs? Even BitLabs and Cash Piggy is actually quite disappointing. If you have a look at the prices, you can see here a majority of them are barely even paying 30 cents or so, which is again very sad. Like we have one here that's almost a dollar worth of USD for technology and computing, but if you keep scrolling down there's really not that much better. And just remember with surveys there's no guarantee you're actually going to be able to complete this survey without being disqualified. So realistically again not too happy with those prices. Now there is a referral system on Cash Piggy where you can get 20% of your friend's points without affecting them at all. And I think your friend gets a bonus as well. Yes, it seems if you enter in my code, you get 10 points when you join up. So this is my code, everyone, if you're curious. But now let me tell you about my PayPal cash out experience. And if Cash Piggy is actually worth our time still. So I didn't have enough points to cash out $3, right? So I decided to go with the Amazon gift card. But to my surprise, everyone, even though it states I clearly exchange for a $1 Amazon gift card, and you you can even see that it states status has been paid and I've even cashed out $15 in total on Cash Piggy. The craziest thing is I was actually paid to my PayPal account $1 worth of USD currency instead of the Amazon currency. So even though it said Amazon, they paid me PayPal. So I don't know if that was a glitch or a mistake, but it seems the minimum now is $1 worth of PayPal currency for 250 points, at least here in Australia. I mean, I have no other reason why they'd actually do that if that wasn't the case, everyone. So I don't know if the app needs to be updated or what, but at least here in Australia, Cash Piggy is 100% legit still in 2024 and completely up to you if you want to use it. I definitely think it needs a lot of updates because it's very, very basic still, but it does the job for what it promises. Something to mention though, there was a PayPal fee, which was pretty lame everyone, especially when you're only withdrawing like a dollar. Let's move on to the next app. I just thought I'd mention, if you guys enjoy what I do here on YouTube every single day, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support means the absolute well. Thank you so much. Next, we have Curious Cat Paid Surveys. They've recently done a big update to their application, so I thought I'd give it another check, everyone, to see how it's going in 2024. Now, this is what Curious Cat looks like these days. It still runs on the point-based currency system, where 100 points converts into almost $2 worth of my local currency here in Australia. What you're gonna notice is that a majority of these surveys have all these pictures of cats, right? And underneath them, you're gonna find the point-based currency you'll receive for successfully 
actually completing the survey. Now, obviously, you want to try and aim for the highest paying survey available. Like here we have one for 42 points, which would roughly convert into almost $1 worth of cash for me here in Australia. I did notice though, Curious Cat has a lot of these lower paying surveys, like nine points, which would be like 15 cents or so. Then you have one for six points, everyone. Whenever you see surveys like that, my advice would be just to skip them because they're more than likely not going to be worth your time at all. Especially ones with five points, for instance. So I was able to complete two separate surveys, everyone, both paying 50 points each. Something I will say though, I find that the disqualification rate on Curious Cat to be quite high compared to other survey platforms out there. I don't know if it's them doing it or the survey providers. Sometimes I found myself getting halfway through a survey or almost at the end and still getting disqualified, which is very, very frustrating. Either way, everyone, I withdrew my 101 points, which converted into a dollar and 95 cents. And here you can see that the status is confirmed and I'm very happy to say that yes, Curious Cat did pay me instantly to my PayPal account without any issues whatsoever. And I was able to earn roughly $2 worth of cash in about 20 minutes worth of time, which was fantastic on a survey earning point of view. But now the only problem with these survey apps is the high disqualification rates. But not only that, the fact is every single day you have to check back and see if there's better paying surveys available. Because right now, I really wouldn't bother with a majority of these surveys on the screen. I mean, if I absolutely had to, I'd probably go for the 42.1 for almost a dollar worth of cash. But the rest of these, I'd completely skip out on everyone, okay? I just don't really see the point at all. So while the Curious Cat might not be for everyone, it is still a paying application, at least here in Australia. Now, the next application as a bonus I want to talk about is Money Cash, Play Games and Earn. So this is what Money Cash looks like, everyone, okay? At the top of the screen, you have your currency of coins. I have almost enough coins or pretty much halfway through to $5 worth of cash. Now, as you can see, it acts as a playtime rewards application where you get a certain amount of coins per minute. And now taking a look at the My Games list, we have a Raid Shadow Legends offer at the top of the screen there. And continuing to scroll down, you'll notice that it states I can earn $100 worth of cash if I achieve level 50. And if I achieve certain levels in general, I can get a whole bunch of these coins. And the more I scroll down, obviously, the more games I've tried in the past on this application to try and generate the coins. And I can say, at least here in Australia, my experience has been terrible. They offer either Amazon or PayPal cash outs. This is the Amazon pay table right here, okay? The minimum is $5 for 10,000 coins, and it goes all the way up to $50 for 100,000 coins. Whereas with PayPal currency, $2 minimum for 5,600 coins, all the way up to $100 worth of cash for 280,000 of the coins. So here's where the big problem is. I cashed out $5 worth of Amazon a year ago, and I was paid out without any issues. I tried to cash out $10 worth of Amazon about six months ago or so, and I have still not been paid even after messaging them. And now for today's video, I've actually cashed out $2 worth of PayPal, and I highly doubt I oversee this money as well. I truly believe that Money Cash has stopped paying their players. The fact is, the last update was in October 2023, and I don't know if it's just my account or what, but their support has not got back to me at all, and they have never paid me since the first cash out. While some people still claim it's legitimate at this point in time, I would avoid it. But I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below about Money Cash and if you think it's real still. Either way, thank you very much for watching today's video. I'll see you all in a few days. Stay safe out there.